Hello, everybody. This is Drew with Acoustic Collectibles. Uh, we're kind of filming a different video today. Um, I bought some coins recently that were a little suspicious uh, in a Facebook group. Uh, I did the right thing, paid the right way. Uh, you're going to learn a lot from this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, and try not to make the same mistake that I did. Um, just do as much uh, due diligence as you can. And uh, it'll really help you out uh, with not having to wait to get your money back and fight a dispute on PayPal um, like I'm doing. Um, but yeah, this is uh, the difference between a fake and a real high relief uh, piece dollar. All right, I'm gonna do a few tests uh, with these coins. I think that they're fake. Uh, I'm not sure that they are. So first, uh, we can look down here. These are the two coins we think are legitimate. Here's the three coins we think aren't, okay? So we're gonna run a magnet over all five of them. Look, they passed the magnet test, okay? So most of your coins are gonna be weighing 26, point, you know, two, 26 grams and above based on uh, its condition. So this condition of this uh, Morgan's pretty poor. Yeah, you can see it's pretty worn down. Um, so we're gonna weigh it. And so it's above 26 grams. You know, if it was, if it was beaten a little bit more, it'd be around closer to 26 grams. Um, and if we take it off, and we put something with more detail on, like the high relief piece dollar that we believe is legitimate, it's gonna be closer to 26.75 grams around there. So lay it on there. 26.62 grams. So an AU coin, you know, that it's it's been circulated a little bit, stuff's come off. And so, you know, we tested these other ones with magnets, but now we're going to do uh, the weight test. And so you're gonna want something 26, between 26 and 26.75. So weigh the first one, 22.03 grams. I don't think, uh, you know, you can't really make up what, four grams, four and a half grams, uh, to make this coin work. So this coin instantly is a fake without anything else. And now we're just do the second one. 22.21 grams. Again, we're four and a half grams off. And we're gonna try the last one. 23.13 grams. And look, I mean, this coin almost looks AU, or at least looks like it has luster. But, as we know, by the weight test, we can determine that these three coins are fake, and these three coins, or these two coins are real. Hey guys, you just watched me weigh these uh, dollars, and now I'm going to be just showing you them in hand, talking to you about why I thought they were fake before even measuring them and seeing their weight. Um, so this is a normal high relief. Oh yes. Normal high relief, beautiful. Details are nice, you know. Um, it has a cartwheel. It has luster. It, luster is beaming off the coin from different angles. It's a nice coin, okay. So and I feel it too. It feels. I mean, I, they tell you not to do this, but it's it's a U coin, whatever. You, you feel it. Like I don't know, you feel any feel any of your silver, right? Feel it, feel it all. You feel it. There's a different feel to it, okay. Um, also, the rim. The rim is kind of worn. It's worn on on the on the sides of the rim, and it's worn on the rim. Um, it's a U Unk coin, but there is some wear in in there, and you could also see just the coloration. You know, stuff's got in it over time. It's it's. Um, and there's a, a, you know, a consistency of color across the whole entire coin. Okay. And the rims. And you can see the dings. And over time, this coin has been through something. Okay. Now, someone says, oh, it's not a good description. Yes, it's not. Okay. This is just me because I don't buy fake coins and I don't do many stuff with fake coins. And it's the first for me. So I'm just telling you my initial reaction to it. So now I'm going to show you a fake one. So here is a fake high relief, okay? Luster's gone, no luster. Details are actually pretty nice, good fake. I mean, 
pretty nice fake here. Um, these these edges feel brand new. Okay, like if you were to get a coin made you know made yesterday, it'd feel like this. You know, no dings. Um, uh, and you can also know the the edge, the corner is just it's like this. It's like a 90 degree angle. But if I felt this one. Okay, if I felt a normal high relief, uh, it's more rounded. It's, it has a rounded edge here. Um, and the details are kind of off too. Um, you kind of see the one. The funny part is the one. So you see the one here and the one here. Look. <laughs> so you see the O is completely just in the end. They're all just like lopsided, falling down like this. I mean, it's a good fake though. I mean, look at this. Pretty nice fake. You know? You can sound, kind of see this filling with like orange you know it's starting to tarnish on its own but with tarnishing uh, of a different metal that's not silver it's just not <laughs> it's not gonna look normal to you um, I bought this on a Facebook group okay and so when I bought it I'm like you know what that this we'll see what this coin is in, in person I made sure to pay with goods and services because I knew that's the thing pay with goods and services if you don't trust somebody say I'm paying with goods and services they say hey I'm charging you a fee pay the fee don't like don't mess with that stuff but I paid the fee on this, and when I received this in person, uh, I weighed it like we just weighed it, and it's uh, garbage coin. So, but this one is a funny one. Okay, this is a 1921 Morgan dollar. Oh yes, look at this. Oh yeah, nice, nice, very nice. And you know, oh, and what what sticks out to you on this side of the coin? I just don't know. You know, I just just don't know what's wrong with this part of the coin I don't understand well the fun fact if you, if you uh, do a lot of coins is that the 1921 was made at three mints Philadelphia Denver San Francisco so this 1921 was made at the New Orleans mint yeah no it wasn't okay so that's instantly you just know it's a fake okay um, once again uh, no luster gone looks unk but it's there's no luster because there won't be luster on this coin. And also the high points on this coin are like non-existent. There's no, it's just a flat coin. So they just stamped, stamped a design on it. It's just super, super flat. Um, the 1921 looks extremely weird, slanted nine. I can go into a, uh, more of an in-depth detail, but this coin is fake. You can see it's even off-centered down here, the metal compared to up here like when they stamped it they stamped it a little bit higher than what it should be it's it's just a funny coin you know it's it's so dumb I, I like I'm just so I'm annoyed it's just gonna take more effort to get this all resolved it's like they took like 400 bucks for me um, but the lesson was learned and uh, I'm understanding all this so you don't have to go through this and you can watch this video and learn from it and where is my last high relief here? So this uh, last high relief, yeah. Oh yes, looks so original. Yes. And, you, and then once again, I mean, I'm feeling flat. It's a flat coin, just a flat coin. Going back to yeah, another O in the end, just very strangely uh, not centered. The font was too big when they stamped this coin, so uh, it looks really, really strange. Uh, that's kind of what was my takeaway. Once again, going back to the rim, very new. It's a new rim, a very kind of sharp edge here. Um, you know, it, it has the detail is is really really good with this coin, but when we weighed it, when we took when we uh, <laughs> took a look at all the details, we actually have more high reliefs. I buy high reliefs all the time, so when I got this in person, I'm like, okay, it's fake. Yeah, I know it's fake. Um, but I hope this helped you guys a little bit, and uh, yeah, don't buy stuff like this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Um, I, I didn't go into much detail as I should have, I think, um, but I'm really just giving you my initial thoughts on it. Didn't have a whole lot of time to do a bunch of research, but once I, uh, you know, weighed them and looked at a very few amount of details on the coins, I knew that they would be fake. Um, so some stuff you can pick up just right away. Um, on certain coins. So I hope you guys kind of see that. Um, this video is more for if you walk up on a coin and you look at it and you say, okay, look, can you weigh it for me? Or, uh, oh, this coin looks off, the details look off. 
um, something that you don't need to go do research and go spend two hours trying to figure it out. Just something that you do before you buy. So I hope this helps you guys out and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching.